Hello, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville by fans for fans. I'm Daniel Goodwell. This is Christopher Draves. This show is brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. They're located across the street from the Wilson Park Ice Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can get all of your hockey essentials, helmets, skates, gloves, sticks, shoulder pads, uh, you can get your skate sharpened. You can buy NHL jerseys from all your Midwest teams, and you will get great customer service. Also, if you're looking to be a referee for Halloween, they sell ref jerseys. Okay. <laughs> Just... well, that's a good thing to throw in there. Cool. Yeah. Uh, we are going to break down the Admirals 4-1 victory over the Grand Rapids Griffins. Uh, how do you want to do this? You start, I finish. Oh, well, slow it down so I can read off. All right, well, shots on goal in the first period was 11-11. And then in the second period, Grand Rapids outshot us 16-10. The third period, they outshot us 12-7. Altogether, we win, but they outshot us 39-28. We were 2-for-3 on the power play. Who is this team? We never go 2-for-3 on the power play. Good job, Admirals. And Grand Rapids, they were 1-for-5 on the power play. Um, for penalty minutes, uh, Milwaukee had 10. 11. Uh, no, no, that's 10. 10. Okay. And then uh, Grand Rapids has 6. Oh, it's at points. They had, uh, the Admiral's total team points as far as st- st- players. Assist st- st- and goals and whatnot. Yeah, they have 11. Uh, 11 the, the I Grand wasn't Rapids. trying to complicate things. I was just giving basic stuff. It was another stat they it. threw onto the website. All right. So scoring in the first on the power play. Was Anthony Richard with an assist from Yakov Trenin and Josh Wilkins. Um, then scoring again on the power play, probably about two minutes later, uh, was Yakov Trenin with an assist from Jeremy Davies and Josh Wilkins. So Josh Wilkins. Has yeah, three that was assists. Trenin's second goal of the year, by the way. Richard's first. All right, and then we have Chris Terry scoring his second of the year with an assist from uh, Joe Hickis. Joe Hickis his first assist. And uh, Michael Rasmussen, his second assist on the season. Then we had Illy Tolvanen with his first goal on the year. With an assist from Matt Donovan, his first. And Mika Salamaki, his first. And then in the third with an empty net goal, we had Matthew Olivier with an assist from Cole Schneider. That was Olivier's first and Schneider's first assist. Three stars of the game were Chris Terry for Grand Rapids at the third star. Yakov Trenin was the second star with one goal, one assist. And, wait, what? One goal, one assist. Oh, okay. Never mind. I read it. Oh, and, yeah, uh, Chris Terry had one goal. Correct. I'm not sure if you mentioned that. And the first star of the game was Troy Grosnick with 39 saves on 38 shots with 60 minutes played of time on ice. So, with me saying that, Troy Grosnick allowed one goal against and 39 shots, uh, or 39 shots, 38 saves. I do not have the same percentage, nor do I feel like opening my phone and using a calculator. Uh, Grand Rapids goalie was... Uh... Calvin Pickard, he stopped 24 of 27, allowing three goals. Uh, he played uh, 59 minutes, 32 seconds. The head coach, or the coaches for the Admirals are... Head coach is Carl Taylor, assistant coach is Scott Ford, and the other assistant coach is Greg Rollo for Grand Rapids. Your head coach is Ben Simon. Uh, assistant coach is former Washington Capitol Mike Knubel. Uh Other assistant coach is Todd Krieger. And the other assistant coach is Matt McDonald. Uh, they played at the Van Andel Arena with an attendance of, what was that, 1,000? 1, 10,834. They had that many people? Yeah. For a minor league game, we can't even get five at ours. Uh, wow, that's a shock. Uh, what Rockford, else is there to do in Grand Rapids? I could think of a few that I can't say on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, referees. Referees are Andrew Howard Tim, and Tim Mayer. Linesmen were Jesse uh, Plotched and Jim Scar- Scarpace. Um... Outside of that, 
I liked how the Admirals were actually playing aggressive on the offensive end. Uh, their defense is play... keeping the puck out of uh, their own zone, which is good. They even uh, helped clear the view for uh, Grosnick. So Grosnick had a clear field of vision when he was playing. So starting this season, the Admirals are 1-0 and against Grand Rapids. You know, it's only the second game they've played all year, but this is the first Yeah, but they're 1-1. One and one, however, so last, the bottom however last season, the Admirals were 4-4-0 four and, four, four, four and, oh, and 2. Uh, Grand Rapids was 3-0 oh, and 1. However that works. Well, Admirals must have lost their I don't even know why you're reading those stats. You never read them before. They weren't there before. Oh. There must be something there that wasn't there. Well, you know what? We don't have to make... For those of you 90s kids, that's a Beauty and the Beast reference. (sighs) Over the last five seasons, the Admirals are 15-21-2-2. Grand Rapids is 25-13-1-1. Yeah, I still don't understand how that works. You're reading off stats, and neither of us have any clue how those work. Anyways, instead of making us look like a bunch of dopes, I think we that were was good. their the, the 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 one stat was last year's record against them. Uh-huh. The current season record is the Admirals are one and zero now, and over the last five, five seasons, the Admirals had the final stat. Uh-huh. So it gives at uh, least at least uh, you understood what you were reading. Yes. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to have a preview of the Laval Rockets, and we'll have another preview of the LA Kings. Yeah, uh, the Admirals tomorrow night at the UW Milwaukee Panther Arena in downtown Milwaukee play the Laval Rockets for the very first time in the Admirals home opener. So you can get your tickets at the Milwaukee Admirals ticket office, or or you can watch it on my 24 TV. Or if you have AHL TV, you got that option. So if you don't have a car and can't get to the game, or you have AHL TV and don't feel like driving because it's cold, you can still enjoy an Emerald And game. it's not too late to get your uh, tickets for the 2019-2020 season. You can go to uh, MilwaukeeAdmirals.com, or yeah. you could call the team at... Uh, Four and four two two seven zero five five zero. Yeah, you could uh tell them uh from Milwaukee to Nashville sent you. They'll know who we are. Ask for Ryan McCampbell, my ticket rep, or uh, Brian Mertens, or uh or any of the lovely ticket representatives that work for the app. Yeah, just tell them that we sent you because you know we're trying to help them sell tickets to the games. We want to see you at the Panther Arena tomorrow night for the home opener. That's all I got. So, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. This is Chris, I'm Dan, and this show was brought to you by Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue. We will see you in about five minutes.